in today's video, I'm going to make a easy fried chicken, breaded fried chicken. The first thing you have to um, have in mind is what kind of chicken do you like? If you like different pieces, you can buy a whole chicken and cut it in pieces, or you can have your um, your chicken of your preference. Today I'm going to make, I don't have no preference, but today I'm going to make some drums and um, chicken thighs. And you have the other option is you can have the chicken with skin or without skin. In my option, I'm going to leave the skin because we like the crunchy skin. But it's to your um, preference. So the first thing is I'm already wash my chicken and then I'm going to season it. I'm using adobo. I'm going to show it to you. Uh, or you can use any all-purpose seasoning um, and I'm going to use fresh garlic and I'm using paste and I have a video on how to make homemade paste um, garlic okay or you can use um, garlic powder so but you can uh, add more stuff if you like so I'm gonna go ahead and season in all my chicken and then I'm going to show you the next um, the next step and I'm and I grab it one by one and the season is to your taste but remember, turn in consideration that okay, you're going to season in your um, all-purpose flour as well. Okay, here I have 15, 15 pieces in total of the chicken already clean and seasoning with the adobo and the garlic and the paste garlic. And in here I have an empty bowl. We're going to use flour and now we're going to season in the flour, okay? Um, Depend on how much chicken you're gonna make. That's the, how much you're gonna put for flour. It's not a um, it's not a certain amount. Okay, I'm just gonna put like 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 probably like this much. That's like three cups. And then I'm going go. I'm gonna go ahead and season in my flour. I'm going to add one tablespoon of salt. And you has, have to have in consideration that your, your chicken is already seasoned and this is for the, uh, for the outside part. I'm also going to use some onion powder and I'm going to put one. And I have parsley flakes. I'm going to put like two, one and a half. And oregano, dry oregano. And I'm going to put like one and a half. I also have black pepper and everything is to your taste. You can add more, you can add less. I'm just gonna put maybe half of the teaspoon. And I'm going my I'm going to make my chicken a little bit spicy. So I'm going to add the cajun or cajun pepper. <coughs> and this is optional. If you don't like the heat, you don't have to add that in there. So I'm going to add Probably like one teaspoon, yeah. not tablespoon, teaspoon, okay? Yeah. Because I have a baby and the baby's gonna eat and I don't want them, you know, the chicken to be too, too spicy. We're gonna stir this together. Here I have two large eggs beaten, beaten two large, two large eggs, and this is the part will come real easy. Okay, I have a Ziploc bag. You can use a Ziploc bag. Okay, I'm gonna use both that way I can show you, and I also have a container with a seal lid. Okay, so this one is smaller, but you can use a big one. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab some of my chicken and I'm gonna put it in a container so I'm going to put like let's see probably half in the bag and half in the container so I have four five see probably half and half um I'm gonna put one more okay I don't know how much I put in there, honestly. I forgot to count. I have my chicken in the bowl, and then you're gonna pour some of the egg mix. 
If you need more eggs, you can add more eggs. If you less, if you need less egg, you have, you know, that's like I say, it's it's depending on how much chicken you're gonna cook. We're gonna seal this and then we're gonna stir this. Make sure the egg is covered with the um, with the chicken. Okay, it's already covered, and now we're gonna pour the flour. So we're gonna put some flour in there. And if we need, if if you if you get short on flour, you have to weigh more, that's fine. So I'm going to cover this and then I'm going to shake. Shake, shake, shake it. And probably I'm going to need for that part a little bit more. Okay. Let's cover. Shake the chicken, and then we're gonna prepare a um, a um, saucepan with a lot of oil because we're gonna deep fry this, okay? But before that, I'm gonna show you now with a Ziploc bag in case you don't have a bowl. You're gonna place your chicken inside the plastic bag. here you have your chicken ready to fry because I'm going to make a lot of chicken I have a big um caldero big pot in here and I have a plate with um napkin uh, when my chicken so I'm gonna place that in there and then I'll let them um, dry a little bit before we put the oil so we're gonna put some oil and I'm gonna use a lot of oil because I'm gonna deep fry this That's a lot of oil. And then I'm going to um, put it in medium heat. I'm gonna let them um, heat it up a little bit, or heat it up enough, <laughs> and then we're gonna start frying the chicken, okay? Now we're gonna check if the oil is ready. I'm just gonna place one. Place one. And my, 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 my oil is ready to go. So, we're gonna fry this in medium in medium heat. Okay, and I want to make an um, I want to make a, a comment about the uh, fried chicken. The heat can be too high because it's not the bread is gonna burn and the chicken is gonna be um, uh, uncooked. It's gonna be raw inside. So you want the chicken to be cooked, okay? So we're gonna cook this in medium high, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to brown it up a little bit side to side and then I'm going to cover it and then I'm going to flip them over um, half time but I'm going to let the chicken to cook in total for 20 minutes and then I'm going to let you know the final result between between um between time and time I'm going to show you how the chicken you know is looking and how exactly the time but the pan and the chicken and the side of the chicken that's the time of the uh, cooking too okay or the cooking process too. Okay, this is how my chicken is looking so far, okay? 
So I cook at a medium high and that was number eight. But now I lower the heat a little bit more and I put it in medium because I used in the electric stove. And I flip them over from time to time. That way you can, you know, the chicken cook on thoroughly. So I left them in there for approximately 60 minutes. Um, you can take one and check it inside and but I'm going to cook this. I'm going to cook the other batch and then I'm going to show you the final result, okay? Here's my first batch of the um, of the fried chicken, okay? Um, it took me 25 minutes. It took me 25 minutes in total. Now I'm gonna fry the other half. I put my heater in high and then I'm gonna fry them and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna lower the heat at medium high. I'm gonna cook it for 20. 20, 20 to 25 minutes or until the chicken is cooked okay and like I told you at the beginning that's depend on the size of the chicken so always check okay and here is the chicken right chicken and I'm gonna serve this with mashed potatoes and corn on the cup so I hope you like this video thank you until the next time perfect bye